Hello, my name's Katie Rushworth and on this miserable autumnal day I'm going to do some perfect prep for next spring by clearing out the greenhouse and getting ready to bring my tender plants indoors and just give it a bit of a spring autumn clean if you like. First things first, everything needs to come out. It's really easy over the summer months to neglect the greenhouse because you're so busy keeping on top of things and doing other important jobs in the garden. So now is a great time to get ahead. The first thing I want to do is give everything a good sweep. It's amazing what can live in nooks and crannies like this and I don't want any pests in here eating my plants over the winter. Cleaning out the greenhouse is one of the jobs that gardeners always put off. But once it's done, it's incredibly satisfying to walk in here and see it all tidy and know that come next spring, you can get going straight away and sowing your seeds and your plants will be protected over the winter. So it is well worth getting around to it and finding the time. I'm determined to do a proper job of this and get rid of any fungal spores or diseases that may be in here. It's just really good plant hygiene to clean out the greenhouse properly. So I'm gonna use a pressure washer. important to check everywhere because it's amazing where snails will get. There's another one here peeking out trying to find a nice warm home for the winter time so they can clear off. There is a whopping spider up there but I'm not going to argue with him. I've just got a bucket of soapy water here and I'm going to give everything a quick scrub. One of the most important things to clean in a greenhouse is the glass because ultimately we use a greenhouse so it gets lots of warmth in here, heat from the sunshine, so we need this glass to be super clean and clear in order to get maximum amount of light in here for our seedlings in the springtime and our tender plants in the winter. Especially given that we have such dark days here in the UK, it's important to really maximise that light. So my next job is the windows. Now that inside's done, I also want to clean out these pots because I want to reuse them next year and for exactly the same reasons, pests and diseases, I want to give them a good clean and they are pretty grim. Now to start bringing things back in. Oh. Now, these begonias are still looking magnificent but I don't want them out when the frosts come so I'm bringing them in here for the winter. I could have lifted them out of their container and stored them dry over the winter months but they're not quite ready for that treatment yet, they're still too lovely. 
and the red against that stonework looks gorgeous. Now many people buy geraniums like this, it's actually a pelagonium technically, for a summer bedding plant and put them in their pots and then as soon as the frost comes it kills them so they get rid of them and they go to the garden centre and replace them every year. But just bringing them inside somewhere like this frost free and light, water them very little and they will survive all winter and then you can just pop them back outside again in the summer. They will get bigger with more and more flowers so it's well worth doing. And there we go, a super clean, tidy greenhouse. It looks pretty fab. It's going to look after my tender plants and be all ready for next year when I want to start sowing seeds. So I'll be all ready for growing. For more videos, visit silverlinetools.com.